Thank you for serving the nation. You're welcome, pal. As you can see, yet again, this is Orwell. Got to load profile one as an old man. Yeah, Dad Graham. That's me. I don't remember exactly what was going on last time I played this thing as it's been a week. Lol. Go me. The, uh, Cassandra. And whatever that group was called, I can't remember. I feel terrible. Da 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 da. Joseph Langley, her dude. I. Yes, thought. That's right. The thought group. Haha. -ha. Summary. Based on the data you submitted, we learned this. Literally, what all we just went over last time. That's very nice. Thank you for helping me remember. Oh, episode two. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we get started right away. We have tons of work ahead of us. I met with my superiors, and they wish to continue with the test case. They believe in the capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. Ha, huh, thank you. My supervisors agree with me. Based on the information you have already extracted, the activist known as Thought is worth investigating. Activist group. It seems the gold fells. Seems that this gold fells. This gold fells. It feels odd that someone's name, though. That this gold fells is an important member of Thought. So we now have clearance to consider them as a target person. Now that Goldfells is a target person, there may be new data chunks available in documents you have already accessed. Don't forget to go back and recheck your sources. Of course. Goldfells. Who are you? Man who looks like Hayden Christensen. Rest records. Nothing's changed. Except that's just saying that she's been arrested for something else. Look at that loading. Look at that loading. Connection between bomb tons, bombings, evidence. Rosen. Let's let's check this out. See if there's any sass in the comment section. Came here for the comments. Came here to be Michael Jackson. Just wanted to eat some popcorn in peace. And I guess I could actually read this, but I'm being lazy and I'm just looking for data chunks. Do work for me. Hillberry Bonton. It's a big deal. Internet billionaire siblings Ada and Alan Davenport, creators and owners of the most important online social network, Timelines, Timelines book, located in Hillberry, are starting a major cooperation with Bonton software giant Rosen Technologies. Oh, snap. Building up that infrastructure. Heavy rainstorm. I don't know why I sang that like purple rain when heavy rain was not related to purple rain at all. So we about to get rocked. Wow, it's only 18 degrees in the sun. That's great. It's still cold though, regardless. But I do love how I keep hitting everything on the reader. Um, like I am. Hey, what's that dude? Like I'm actually on a web page. I'm sitting in the back button of my mouse, I'm like, why would I go back? Because... <sighs> let's see what this guy's about. Yeah, let's go for it. New portrait. Hmm. Let's play this crazy person. Thought must change direction. It's private. I forgot. That's right, dragging. I was just clicking on it like some doofus, but I forgot I had to drag it. So even if that's not him, <clears throat> I'd still say that's a very dashing photo. Look at me and my mustache. Take me back. Entry 1. Are thoughts still free? Published March 2012. That's a long time ago. There's a German folk song called The Thoughts Are Free. Well, let's see. Let's look it up. See if that's accurate. I doubt it. The letter. Alright, it seems. What was this? Before I immigrated to the nation in 1993. What up? I wasn't even... Potentially. That's creepy. Potentially not alive then. Depends on... That was. 
Oh god, you can find out how old I am now. When I think of the increasing aggressive operations of the surveillance machinery and the nation, I truly fear the answer to this question. That's why I created this block. I want to encourage alternatives to the total control and safety bigotry of the digital world. The thought. Huh. How convenient. If Goldfeld is the one who created the blog, perhaps he founded or even was the leader of the activist group. It's possible. Hello, Admin. I like your things, too. I would like to steal them, because that's what I think we should do. Thought must change direction. Do I have access to this now? Huh. It was giving me error 404, father not found. After one and a half years recruiting two of my students and arranging three demonstrations like the one held at Freedom Plaza, well, there we go, you're taking responsibility of it. <coughs> it's not too intelligent to do, but okay. And I just... Hmm. Frankly, we let ourselves get consumed by anger and hatred. Yep, sounds a lot like what's going on right now in America. Anyway, thoughts are free, but that doesn't mean we have to be rude and kill people. I now see my high aims might as well be the cause of the events of the past months, more than anyone else have thought. I feel responsible, so there we go. Once again, he is admitting the fact. What? Oh. Admitting that he at least was, since there he is saying that he is leaving. <clears throat> that he is part of thought. One related document found. What now? Stellion, the same Stellion where a bomb just exploded? Yep. You know what I think about coincidences. Coincidences. I won't repeat it. Yep, they're not real. So far, all that evidence suggests that Goldfells was a prominent lecturer at Stellion. And some of his students became involved in thought. Imagine that. Did he, like, recruit them for his cause? Probably. We need to identify those students. See who else is involved in the group. Let's check it out. Please reconsider. The guy hurt was only a cop. Had it coming for long. That's kind of rude. Still a person, bro. Still a person. Mr. Concerned One. Look at that one. In your Skulls logo. Memorial. Knowledge, science, wisdom... Sometimes I'll remain silent. There's the same picture from the newspaper. Hey, that's our boy. Possibly. It's possibly. Possibly. <clears throat> He's got the facial hair. Hair's parted on the same side. These glasses. Yesterday evening, explosive device went off at Stelligan campus, killing a Stelligan student as well as a lecturer. Several other individuals have been severely injured. The authorities are investigating. That's terrible, though. Like, really. President Hopkins, like John Hopkins? Hmm? Hmm? Nation's best public dining hall. It's the bomb. That was a terrible joke. I am sorry. That was... Oh, what's this? Note. This course is currently unavailable due to Representative Goldfield having been retired. There we go. That's our boy. Being a luminary in his perfection. Profession. Adam Goldfels. I'm sorry, what? Adam? It's Abraham. Where are my eyes? Abraham it is. Boom. Oh no. Professorship in the field of media ethics. Really? Media ethics? So, part of the media? <sighs> Did you notice the bombing locations can seem closely connected to thought members? There could be a pattern emerging. Thought has held three demonstrations, yet there have only been two bombings, which might imply, well, it's definitely a shot in the dark, but we are absolutely need to do everything we can to prevent another attack. Take a close look at the past of each member with Thought. Find out the locations of all demos they have held that might yield a hint. Boom. Update face. Stick him in the system. So if he's sitting there frowning at some paper, I, I don't know. I feel like this one's better, though. Makes him look too nice, but if he's a terrorist, terrorist. So this way we can identify him if he's staring at some paper, somehow over a camera. Previously, Prof Goldfeld held a position as a journalist at the Der Reporter. Der Reporter. I know. I know that's Der. Der Reporter. Deutsche Sprache. Yeah. I know that. 
but I just like reading Durr. This is great. <laughs> cool. So he was in Germany. Hmm. Wouldn't have guessed by his name, or the stash, or the hair, or that forehead, or the chin, or the ears, or the nose, or the cheeks. Also, a chairman of the Global Media Ethics Congress. Well, that's interesting. The Global Media. Okay, he's blowing people up. Member of an ethical congress. Just the average, run-of-the-mill, terrorist trait. Yep. Exactly. Wow, that's a whole lot of information about the Goldfells. Yet, only one other page could be indexed. Very strange indeed. I think the next course of action should be to look for other people in the SOC group, like the students you mentioned. I agree. However... Die Gedanken sind frei. The thoughts are free. A modern time declaration of independence towards mass surveillance. Is that a book that he released? So then we can look up that book and see if there's extra terrorist propaganda in that book. Whoa, what do you say about that? He literally wrote the book. Hey! Yeah, I always hate professors that are like that. Where they will literally use the book that they wrote for their class. I'm just like, bruh. I mean... That's interesting. Catherine Delacroix. Oh, that's back 2009. Member of the party. Oh yeah, this is just notable alumni from life. That's interesting. Really, Joseph? Hmm. Really, Joanna? Here come on later. But that's interesting that both Delacroix and Langley are both in the same college. University. Oh. ISU Cal attendee list. Welcome to the internal Stelligan University class attendee system. I keep wanting to read that as Skelligan, like from The Witcher. The Skelliger University. Please select a semester. Let's just look at them all. Oh, this is going to be a lot. Um... I could sit here and read them all. I don't really see the point. I'm just going to try to find the one that he's in. And see all of his... Uh... I wouldn't think of him management. Just he was... Media though. I didn't say he was there. For some reason my brain's dying, so I'll, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to this one a little bit. Let's see what the listener has to say. Chat with Joseph. Hey, you. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry about last night. I really should have come over. She's not going to respond in like five days. It's just this client is massively influential and can bring a whole lot of exposure to the office. I feel you, Joseph Langley. I guess we have a face for Joseph Langley, so I can update that. I'll probably do that. I've been trying to get to meetings for months, and it went rather well. So, here's hoping. God, I'm such a stupid old man. You. He talks about his job too much. I'm sorry. It's just a big part of my life. Hello? Dude, you, you have, you've only given her a minute to respond. You've only given her a minute to respond. Chill. She not a session going to be a sit-out. Can you at least answer me? <laughs> if you don't, I'll start to worry. You know what I'm like. Well, you literally gave her a minute to respond. I don't know very few people who, out of the blue, are just going to start going from a minute. TNB. Heavy rainstorm. Let's see if I can't upload... I, I can't. Uh, but this is Joseph Langley. I just want to have an outdated photo of him on there. So that, in the little thing, I'll sit there. Former professor of media ethics. So, he would have to be in here. Professor Hood Michael Gilbert Roy. We don't see hair gold fells. Previous step. Previous step. So, summer, was he in there? Gold fells. Abraham. Boom. There we go. Allie Troy. Andrews Tom. That's weird they got their student number. It's so weird that it has everything on there. Great. Failed. Annotation. No credit points accounted due to failed exam. That's terrible. That's rough. Costa. Monty. Brandon. Daryl David. Failed. Oh, too many missed sessions. Terrible kid. Willie. Stella. Dorothy. Stacy. Sybil. Carrington. Juliet. 
Grade A. Boom. Can I just upload the goal? Did take the whole thing? Annotation Master Thesis registered at this course. Yes, we have. We have seen this name before. Right. She was a friend of Miss Watergate. Now it all appears that she was a student of Abraham Goldfels. I think that's enough to warn a report. Give me a few minutes. Da -da 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 -da. All right, we have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. Good. Well, I mean, I think you would investigate her anyway, or talk to her, anything like that, because, like, they're best buds. But I'm going to keep looking. O'Donnell Harrison guest. Huh. Myself, Harriet, Harrison, and Juliet. Those could be, could be, but there could be more. Oh, I thought it said PETA. I saw PETA. I was like, PETA? What is this? It's not the Hunger Game. <laughs> Yet, I mean, the surveillance is almost there. Let's see. What does Mr. Harrison have for us? Status. Considering changing my profession to being full time profit. Oh yeah, this guy. Media punk. What? Oh. Boop. There we go. Thanks for helping me out. Media punk? What does that even mean? I don't have any idea. But here we go. Photo of him. His really cool sunglasses and his sick lip piercing bra. He doesn't have a birthday. This post has been deleted by user. Everything alright with you? Now it is. Hey left thought. I think that's what happened. Wow, he deleted. A lot. Huh. Juliet Carrington says they're in a relationship. Yeah, what's what's the what's the conflict? Oh well, upload it. It says they were together. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to him too. Oh, Mike, why don't you go ask Juliet out right away? Huh? No need to be hiding anything. I can provide a nose correction. Oh boy. Nah, no, don't come down, Harrison. Easily jealous. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. So apparently they didn't think he was going to go to university. The targets. Yeah. Savage. Band. My band is so rad. My band is so cool. We're on track. We're the track you're ashamed of in your fine tuned playlist. It's possible. I could possibly hate it. Hancock Harrison. Yep. So it shows your eyeballs. So now I can scan you in. Former members. Phil. Oh, Tubman. There we go. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Hey, Juliet. You're in the band. <coughs> Formerly in the band. There we go. Boom. Back to my boy. Oh, that's it. That's your whole band. Oh, there we go. Gigs. Targets are downtown. A friend of mine says you guys are terrible. Hey. Casarthus. Cassandra. Definitely have to come down to Freedom Plaza demo. I have to go. I just have to get to know Juliet, especially since she's the one organizing this. Huh. Intriguing. So. So the Freedom Plaza demonstration was one of Thought's protests. Not immensely surprising. One down, two more protest locations to go. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope, that's it. Bye. 
on time. Cancelled because we were terrorists. Albums, listen to pipe. What? It's really interesting though that they've got music in the game besides the ethereal. Dear Lord, what is this terrorist nonsense? All of your busted code. There's just so much to look at now. But let's go over here to Juliet, see what she has to say. Hey, look, another portrait. Boom. PR assistant at Rosen Tech. Interesting, since they were trying to do that thing with the people and make the stuff. February 1992. Fair few guitar singing books board games. Just show my guitar, the things, board games. Member of a band. Zeke has dyed red purple hair. Stellion University. Oh god. She's just a number. Harrison O'Donnell is your boyfriend. Stellion University. The targets. Fairview Purple Library. Cafe Chestnut. Woo! Ha! You can dance. Proof. Is that really me? Gotta be careful. I look rough. I'm bored to death. Here, some cupcakes. Tell me what I must do for those cupcakes. You got a message, Cassie. Ah. Yuck. You know I'm not so keen on going out late. Plus, I don't dance ever while you were dancing in that picture, so lol. It's okay, I fully understand you. I think we'll spend the evening in bed, watch movies, have a bunch of muffins out of frustration. Alright, alright. Be there in half an hour. That torture and cruelty by my friend. What? I'm confused. That torture and cruelty by my friend. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> I, I missed that. Amnesty International torture. Is this correct? What? Wow. This only underlines her assessment as potentially dangerous from yesterday. Harrington family TNA. Let's learn all about you people. Where are the Carringtons? Jonathan and Esther Carrington. Man walks into a bar, meets girls his dream, then Mary settled down, have four daughters. That's quo. Born in eighty-five. Wow. Born in eighty-seven. Born in nineteen ninety. And hey, there she is, ninety-two. Boom. This is another picture of her playing the guitar. So Orwell can pick her up when she's doing some sick jams. Her favorite color is red. She loves to play guitar. Okay, this is a joke. favorite color. Do you th really think it's pertinent information right now? Chill, bro. Chill. Chill. Hold on. I get that there's an active bomb threat, but like, hey, I'm trying to get all of the information in. February 14th of 92. It's going to be important when we lure her in. Since the nestling of the family showed up a little bit unexpectedly, the parents, Jonathan and Esther, decided that they would end the strictness of the naming pattern. Her sisters had followed in favor followed in favor of a slight aberration. Julia learned to play the guitar. Studies of media economy at media economy? No, economy. At Skelligan University. It's like banana nut muffins and a kill mockingbird. So know her parents. It's a picture of her parents. That's so creepy that they have a whole website of just a family. Like what? No thanks. Do, 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 do. Oh, they got to know each other at the protest. Interesting. Interesting. So that was only June 25th. Seriously, this is this is this question right here. This question is what I'm asking. Probably about several thousand people daily right now because the United States just had their election. And everyone's spitting up, per usual, their political nonsense when they don't talk about it any other time of the year. Anyway, first Miss Watergate, now her. Is there some sort of brainwashing going on? Well, yeah. It's called Public University. Media and Liberal Studies. <laughs> Gotta go to Skellige. Get talked by some crazy Goldfeld man. Oh. My. Sick jams are on that site. I should have known. I should have known that was bad. 
but you ain't gonna get into Orwell today, boy. Headlines, breaking news, first suspect in connection with assault arrested. Yay. Woman arrested in connection with recent attacks in Bonton. Police spoke, spokesman Jim Kaufman. Bonton, a couple months ago, Bonton reported that there was a young woman brought to police custody thanks to a special task force. Boom, talking about Cassie and how she was a terrible person and got herself cut. Let's just never go back to that site. I mean, that song is jammy. Oh, goodness. Rosentech, welcome. A message from the founder. When I founded Rosentech in 1998, my vision was a simple one. There should be tailor-made software for any purpose. Makes sense, I guess. So who all do we have to investigate? Esther Carrington. Huh. Jonathan. I mean... I guess I could go get a picture of him. Probably do that in a bit. Victor Rosen. Well, thanks, Victor Rosen. I appreciate it. Such a pal. It just goes back every time I go back to that. Quit it. Our family. I, I just want to upload a picture of the dad, but I can't, so, okay. The Ten Commandments. One, any vision is valuable. Software can solve any problem. Embrace the client's vision. Open-mindedness and transparency are key. Always stay in touch with the clients. Synchronous over asynchronous communication. Think about your responsibility. Yeah, think about it. Fix your mistakes. Learn from them. Work here and now. You can do better. Always. Get in touch. A. Following the sixth commandment of Rosentech, we rely heavily on communication and collaboration with you. We would like you to call directly so we can easily discuss your needs. A. Rami French. Ryan Harper. Juliet Carrington, gonna spam you with all the phone calls. This PR assistant, good work. The listener will also track incoming and outgoing telephone calls of numbers you have added. Savage, imagine that phone call. Oh boy, oh boy. So that's to her. Let's read this. Hello. Hey Cass, what happened yesterday? I blew up. Juliet, this Joseph, on Cassandra's account. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. Hi, Joseph. I'm a creep. What? I was at the wrong profile. Oh, sorry. Hi, Joseph. I didn't know you had access to Cassie's account. I guess. I don't know. You too. Julie, have you seen Cassandra since just evening? Heard from her at all? I spoke to her last night via chat. She seemed quite upset about the whole Freedom Plaza thing and something else she didn't want to talk about. Then there was someone at her door. She went to answer and she never came back. I assumed it was you. We were supposed to meet for dinner, but I had an unexpected meeting with a client. She wasn't exactly happy about it, the change of plans, but she quit the chat and that was it. I haven't heard from her since. In that case, I think she's probably at home stewing away. I love stew. Stew's great. I'm at her house right now. LOL. Well, I just tried that. She didn't... <laughs> she did give me the key to her flat two months ago, but no. No Cassie, also her PC was still on. Hmm. I guess calling her didn't work either. Nope. I tried. No answer. And she's in police custody. It's not your big deal. Just chill out, Joseph. It's because she's an eco-terrorist. Did you set your number to private? Otherwise, she's probably just avoiding you. Huh. Private is my default setting, after all. I am a lawyer. Oh, boy. Haha. <laughs> Cassie told me you were funny. So funny. How is that the wrong profile? Joseph Langley is who this is. Whatever. I think you just shouldn't worry too much. Probably nothing. Well, Cassie's mad. She usually goes to wander around the city. She'll be back in time. Yeah. She does get a bit tired at times. We had an argument once. Well, guess what happened? Happy face. See, this is why I wanted to talk to you. I feel like sometimes you know her better than I do, and I'm her boyfriend. Well, I mean... Well... I mean, you two were in thought group together. <gasps> you both went to the Freedom Plaza protest. <gasps> About to have some confessions. About to have a confession. Confess. 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 Confess! And so I thought maybe you'd know the places she could be more important for her or the two of you. Where she could be at. 
where she could be. Joseph, I'm sorry, Freedom Plaza was organized by thought, yeah, but Harrison did all the planning for it. Oh boy! So someone already know. Oh, I see. Wish I could help, but honestly, I don't have a clue. So, Harrison. Omer. Conflict was solved. Cool. Yeah, I, I see. Help, don't have a clue. Well, thank you. Don't mention it. I'll text you as soon as you turn us up. If I get an idea. Savage. Call. Esther Carrington. That's your mom. I have voices. No, oh, never mind. No voices. Hello, Juliet Carrington. This is Esther. You sound so official at work. Oh, uh, hi, Mom. Is this important? You know I can't take personal calls while I'm at work. I just wanted to check in, make sure you are home for dinner tonight. Actually, I am heading with some friends from work that some for some Bonton clubbing. JK. Bonton bombing. Okay, yeah, whatever. Honey, please don't. On the news, I said it would... Dude, quit. I'm just trying to read this thing. Yes, she's going to blow up people, they're creatures of habits, they're terrorists. I know you're letting Orwell do this, but I wanted to pry into the person like personally. What's she really doing? Blowing up the square. Mom, I won't die. How can you be so sure about that? I could just easily be hit on the car by way home to your lovely dinner. Don't say that! Just think this. Ridiculous group has got you into nothing but trouble. What were they called? Alright, jeesh. Mom, I'm gonna think about it, okay? Just kidding. Thank you, honey. Mom, I am sorry, but I really have to go now if I don't want Victor Rosen to personally fire me. I, 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 I have to go. Sorry, love you. Bye. Inactive. You didn't even let to say bye. Victor Rosen. Boss. Harrison O'Donnell. What do you have to say, Harrison? Hmm, that's supposed to take personal calls, huh? You got O'Donnell. Harrison, it's me. Well, 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 look who it is. I knew this moment would come. Okay, I'm done reading this like a robot. Caught me by surprise. Harrison. Shh. Juliet, ever since we first made out in that clear night on the Stellingen Greenfield, I knew it was destiny. Let's get some multiplayer in. Will you please spare me your juvenile... Well, whatever. Haha. -ha. Don't believe that first. It's really is you. Uh, okay. Stellingen again. Major player. To make me call you back again? The heck you talking about, son? Oh, come on, don't play dumb. Great administrator. I'm talking about the thought page you generously volunteered to maintain. What? Give me a sec, brah. What the? What the? What the? You mess around with me, son? Mess around with me, son? Hmm? Are you seriously trying to say this wasn't your doing? Nah, bruh. Why would I want to disgrace thought? Maybe because of the same reason you bailed out of thought all of a sudden. Uh, thought didn't do anything for me since Abraham Lincoln disappeared. So, Harrison O'Donnell left Thought because he's a nub. This dude, like, between everything, keeps talking. Like, I, I get it. Like, he, you don't need to keep talking. Thought didn't do anything anymore since Abe disappeared. I guess that's the wrong profile. Abe archive the first ones because they didn't even want us to know. Mm hmm Okay, got it. I can't even read this because I'm just moving everything over. What? Stop. I don't understand how it's the wrong profile. I'm so confused because like... Oh, Abraham Goldfield. Durr. Yes, blah 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 blah, hidden agenda, of course. I mean, I guess they don't expect me to try to actively do this stop while the conversation's happening. A build out. Abraham Goldfield disappears, causing the group to be inactive. They're no longer active? Well, it seems so, but still is. You deleted all your rebellious posts because to secure your cozy job, writing that ridiculous opinion column for the TNB. Well, I mean, it's a job. So, savage proud of him. Basically, you just said, you grew up! Shame on you! <laughs> hey, I read this one quite regularly. I wasn't at all aware it was our guy. The TNP probably didn't know either. Probably. Oh, please. 
funny. There you are, speaking of the disgrace, frozen to the government, personal. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay. We'll be done in no time, ma'am. Never could say no to you. Hmm. Just fix it. Okay, that's all he's saying is just fixing it. Cool. Hides thought past the security and Jubai. Ho oh, ho ho. Reader. Website. Put the Pargesium border. The National Opinion by Harrison O'Donnell. Wow, it's his face on there. Impressive. Safety of any citizen is of utmost importance. That has been the party's premise ever since 2009. Has been ever, has been working like a charm. Hmm, interesting. What does this conflict with? Conflicts with supports the governmental position. Well, I don't think we should put that in there because we're pretty sure he doesn't. Who knows? Maybe next week a bomb will go off in the middle of Fairview or Bonton. Huh. That's interesting, sir. How you conveniently predicted that. Hmm, yes. I read the article. That was strange indeed. With the bombings now. Yep, I'm not going to upload that because I highly doubt you support the nation. Our family. Was there an update? Something change? Oh, oh. Hey. Look at there. It's like you know. Malloy Court. Cozy little spot in Fairview. Hmm, funny. It's right around the corner from where I live. You should go drop by and be like, hey, so I am insert made up name here. And I think that your child is a terrorist. I thought he was gonna do something like that. Get in touch. Message from our founder, Victor Rosen. Here, picture of Victor Rosen. You could just easily drag his photo over here, but it's just like, nah, not important. Shaping visions bit by bit. Here, here's his signature. Steal his identity. Tubman, like it's terrible. Okay, suspect of Bonton. Yeah, that's what this is about. It's cloudy today. Get alert, this was updated, but okay. Albums. Listen to our song. Advertisement for the poor. A riot. Let's see. Sorry, folks. This one's also adult. Drop in one of our concerts to get one for free. Wow, that's cool. 
or drop Hancock line at www.spammyemail.com. E. Excellent. You will now have access to any emails coming in or out of this account. Perfect. I don't know if I want any of it, but hey. I see you. Knock knock, Harrison. Seems I caught, caught you pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? Why, that's fine. You don't know me and I like to keep it that way. But I know a lot of about you, media punk. If you knew what I know... What? If you knew what I know what you know about what this little group of yours knows I would do, you would find it just as hard to ignore as those bombs might carry... Oh boy. Might find it too hard to ignore that those bombs might just carry your name tag. You get what I'm talking about, right? So, the Righteous Hacker Initiate will expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the government, but I will do what I must. Just give me one good reason not to do it, and I might reconsider. Initiate. Oh, great. Now there's a hacker involved in all this, because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. I wonder what this is about. Seems we're not the only ones interested in Mr. O'Donnell, his entanglement in all this. I wonder if this guy has any proof of what he claims. Probably. I mean, it's all right there. Order confirmation. Unknown person, Harrison O'Donnell. Hello, Mr. O'Donnell. Thank you for shopping at Smith. <laughs> Semiramis Flowers. We hereby confirm your order number of blah, 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 blah. Bouquet lovely with tag to Angela. Who's Angela? Who is Angela? Oh, boy. You gave me... Wow, that's terrible. That's terrible. You guys gave me his bank account, so now I can track all of his purchases and everything like that, too, can't I? I mean, I can just ruin this guy's life if I was a criminal. Hey, this is the most pathetic blackmailing tip I've had written in a long time. If you want a good reason not to call the cops, I can give you three. One, you hacked my site. I ate my web server. Last time I checked, that was highly illegal. Something about glass houses and stones. I don't get why you'd want to have <coughs> why you want to have found out about me. True, our protests didn't always go as planned. But since you claim to know so much about me, you should know that this is hardly my fault. What I wanted is all in my blog. Not a word about bombing people, only grabbing attention! But, but you never found that, huh? Where are your mad skills, hacker boy? Sick. Bringing up some lead up in here. I'll throw you a bread so you don't feel too miserable. My Nick. I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave my page alone. Rick, roll it back, and don't you dare touch it again. I will get you. I promise. Man, I'm so scared. I'll get you, fam gigs. Oh boy. What's this? Hmm. A friend of mine claims that Hancock decided... Yeah, because I didn't do that earlier. But no official statement has been given out. Well, I don't blame him. He's like, there's a bunch of terrorists. Comments. Definitely have to go to Freezum Plaza. Really? This is this is what you had in there. That. I'm, I'm good with this. Thank you. So that's seriously what you had on there as far as something new that happened. First National Bank. Hey. <laughs> Juliet's timeline. Let's see what she has to say. When I learned about Skelly in this morning and the two people have been killed, I felt devastated because I felt responsible for who you were. I've spent five years of my life at that university. I even organized a peaceful protest at the Stellian campus. Did you? Land a protest. Hmm. I want to show with one unknown data chunk. Okay, well, I'm not going to put it over there because it's an unknown data chunk. Person O'Donnell. Let's see. The people's drugs and pharma? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, dude. What, what are you buying from the people's drugs and pharma? 
Either he values his hygiene, or he might as well be getting material to watch away freedom, wash away a freedom memorial. Yeah. Interesting. That's. Yeah, that's some amazing health insurance. Yeah. 905, I'm guessing monthly, but either way, like, that's insane. Got him on payroll. Well, I mean, considering that he bought his cocaine, and then he went to the supermarket, and he was negative 120, or he was negative 83, and he just continued to build and build and build until he got some huge bank. Like, that's bad. Not one to talk about people and managing money, but dude, you got paid thirty-five hundred dollars. That's terrible. The wall of text. Huh? Was there an update? Is there a, another wall or what? Okay. The wall of text. Hancock's writing on the wall. It's happening. After years, my plan is finally taking shape. Its name, Thought. <gasps> so you're saying that you are the one who... That's... Kind of like, terrible. It looks about the same. Boom, go back. So, he's admitting to the person who created Thought. Finally, a counterpart to the radical reigning of totalitarian surveillance. And I'm glad to have been capable companion on this. Interesting. As soon as I get myself a handful of like-minded people, we're gonna occupy Wall Street. Boom. Show conflict. Says that she organized it. Well, that's why I didn't keep it. Because... Pretty sure it was him. I kind of feel like it was him. Freedom Plaza and Stelligan very well. It is a pattern. Exactly as we suspected. But we still have no idea about the third location. You need to be diligent now. Lives hang in the balance. In the worst case, we cannot determine the location on time. Well, I might have to conduct an interrogation with Miss Watergate. I want to avoid it, though. She's behaving... Pretty defiantly, I've been told. No surprise. Look at what you've found so far. I think I might have enough information to put some pressure on her. I would say so, because I found a lot of information. I already live in a trailer anyway. Well, there we go. He lives in a trailer. Uh, yeah, no, you really can't. So what do you think? I live... Da -da -da -da. Can't even find a word to express for how mind-bogglingly stupid the Goof's plan is. I should honestly go back, because, like... Yeah. Can, can I... Can I... I'd like to go back. Oh, well. User Goldfield. Hey, looky there. Everything looks like it's back to being normal. Woo! I don't remember what these stars mean. If it means that there's something that I need to see, or what? Wi-Fi. Yep. So that's what he pays. Lives on a camping lot. Yeah. Just for support, I guess, that it's cheap. What's on your wall of text? Show me your wall of text. Leave a message. The alias man. By pure coincidence, I stumbled upon your website. Frankly, your thinking and your attitude to get other people to think alike left quite an impression on me. I am looking for people willing to join a debate club called The Thought, and I think your presence could really liven up the discussion. I don't know where you got your weird impression. I would be willing to join some debate club. I'm already debating here all day on my own. This country needs change, action, don't spam. Thanks a ton. what I figured it'd say. Wrong profile. <laughs> I wish you just drag it and add it. Because, like, I know it's about him. I feel a little confused now. 
Is this thought a blog, an activist group, or a debate club? Perhaps all three. Probably it was a debate club as a mask to show everybody that it is an activist group. That he started as a blog for something. Whatever. Security warning. I recognized access to... Oop. Oop. Me. That was me. That was me. That was me, boy. Wow. Kudos to the bank. Knock, knock, Harrison. The thoughts are free once again. We're not done yet. You and me. But first on, I must turn to another. So cryptic and cool. Topic. Debate club. Is everything the way it's supposed to be? Yeah, everything looks normal. Cool. Topic Defeat Club. I don't even know how long this is going. It feels like it's going forever, though. Debate Club called the Thought. Primary discussion will revolve on how people can be best made aware of the topic, age, information, overflow, first rule, brain, wash, and discuss various options. And dependent on participation and interests of the attendees, we will perform practical exercises and test sessions for the empirical research. <laughs> That's right, Rob. So proud of you. Proud of you, Rob. Debate club? Oh, we got time for that. If I have time, I have to work. Minor update. Oh. Hancock has been theorizing ways of political engagement. Sadly, it's not an official credited event. I'm sorry. Savage. I'm not a student. I'm only here for self-improvement. But it piqued my interest. I'm Nina. So Nina. Well, here we go. Back to our boy. So Nina, you'll be very welcome, I thought. Adib, thanks for the warm welcome, brah. Nina, so there's another member, that's probably the third. Boom. That's so creepy though how quick that is. Like to get clearance for this. At concerned one, dude, it's that boy. Turned one, that's the person that was spamming on uh, everything. It is. Because you're back there on. Where was it? Yeah, you were here, that's right. Yeah, she didn't care that it was a cop. Organizing something for thought. Got burned. Metamorphosis. By our boy, Hancock. No, we will carry it to the streets of the nation and we will wreck them so hard. The current course towards more and more surveillance, slow metamorphosis, inevitable to change every day. There's a counterweight to this process. No one can answer. The thought no longer stays in our head. No, we will carry it in the streets of the nation, become transformed by that reimplanted back into the minds, the invincible idea that we shall always truly be free. So, an extra group after all. And now we know who had the primary say in that. Yep. It's a great moment. Glad we can do this. Let's not make people mad. My friends, calm your pants. Don't be stupid. Oh, oh. What a pity. You're probably right, Abe. So what about holding a proclamation of government building then? Sounds like a first for the demo. We should go for storming a Bonton Mall as our first thing. Although I know we want to gather more people to join us, we should not discuss the matter here. There are eyes out there who might be malevolent towards us. What is this conflict with? Oh. Well, I 
conflicts, conflicts right there. There's really not enough that I can go off of. Our thoughts still free. German folk song, immigrant. Yes. Hello, Edmund. What you want, Cassie? Ninety-two. Freedom is unfree. Interesting. So I guess I have to choose who did what. That's all we have, is what we have to work with. So let's get this interrogation thing going before we run out of time. I am actually located at the same facility where this model gate is detained. I will have her move to an interrogation room and walk across to cover my identity. Identity. I will connect to her via an internal hard line. Ugh. Let's just hope that what you have provided gives us enough leverage over her. I will open a connection to you to eavesdrop, after all. This is your case too, plus we need all the possible all the possible info found in Orwell. Hold on. Listen up. Symes to Cassandra Wattergate. Who is this? Why can't you just leave me alone? Miss Watergate, my name is Symes. Great, Symes. You can go eat some bags. I told the other guys everything over and over again. It wasn't me who hurt the outfit. We have new evidence that states otherwise, which is why you are in custody again. But think, that's not what this is about. We're investigating the bombings at Freedom Plaza and Stelligan. I just want to ask you some questions. Cooperate, and it might reflect positively on you. Oh, you want to frame me for this as well? I must be such a busy terrorist. I was right there imprisoned while I set up a bomb at Stelligan. We know you didn't trigger the bomb at Stelligan. Maybe not even the one at Freedom Plaza. We do know, however, you have been in close contact with a group called Thought. What? They have nothing to do with it. I want to talk to my lawyer right now. Too bad. You mean that boyfriend of yours, Joseph Langley? My boyfriend? You know that? Yeah, we know a lot about you, Miss Watergate. Bah, I don't need to call him then. Now shove off. Your defiance towards me is not advisable. I could easily drag your best friend Mary Blige into this, and then she'll end up in here for questioning as well. Do you want that? Haha, <laughs> Mary, do whatever you want with her. Go ahead. Uh, what about your parents? Bruno and Alice. They've got a nice company, don't they? Association with criminal case against their daughter yet again it could hurt them badly. Last time I was in custody, all they ever did about it was suggesting I'd leave my position as junior COO. Does that give you the impression of a picture perfect family? Well, have it your way then. We have your confession in regards to that nasty incident with the police officer. You'll have to go through that whole process again. It's going to drag on for a long time. And where did you get this supposed confession? I never did anything. Carrington stated this in a conversation with you. Have you been spying on us, you dirty little government pig person? Well, I hope you also noted that it's happening in defense. Indeed, we noticed that that doesn't, that does mean you have nothing on me. It seems my colleagues didn't tell you you've been arrested as potentially dangerous, did they? Ha! Potentially dangerous. I like the sound of that. Of course you would. <coughs> this is not a joke, Miss Watergate. See, it's all in this profile here. In accordance with the safety bill, people being passed potentially dangerous may be held in custody for a very, very long time until they are deemed no longer a threat. You can't just make up something and flag me as dangerous just because it suits your case. It seems an official investigative result. We can both double our time span and you'll sit in here while the police record what yours. No, why? 
I hope you will like your cell and your cellmates. But cooperate and avoid this at once. Why are you doing this to me? Just answer my questions and I might be able to help. I don't know what to expect from me. I first went to the Freedom Plaza demo. I don't know much about their plans. We know that Mr. O'Donnell had plans to have a kind of proclamation on the roof of a government building. Do you know which one? Uh, government building? Uh, I never heard of anything like that. See, I knew it. I knew it was going to be the stupid mall. I don't know, there's nothing. There has got to be something. Talk. No, the, there was, wasn't never, was never, I swear. I insert crying here. is fast else oh see I knew it need to pull this group apart tomorrow I have a serious look at the remaining member it's Nina until then you are dismissed yeah I mean, I kind of feel like, to be honest, regardless of which I put, picked, whether it's the government building or the Circle Mall, I think regardless of what I would have picked, the other thing would have happened. But hey, I learned a lot of information about people. So with that in mind, seeing as I finally got up to a sort of stopping point, I think I'm going to call that a close for this portion of Orwell. Um, so it's definitely shaping up to be really interesting, especially seeing how like the choices and consequences are potentially devastating. But like I said, I, I have a feeling I'll probably play through it sometime in the future. I really feel like regardless of what I would have picked there, whether I said that they're going to go demonstrate at the mall or on top of a building that whatever I didn't pick is what would have happened in the first place. But and again, who knows? But yeah, we have evidence of people torturing. She was recruited. That Juliet was a student that everyone's related to Goldfells, but I don't I don't know. Like it's tough as far as it's deciding whether Goldfells or O'Donnell were the people that actually started this whole thing. But Interesting. So if this is just a global news saying that could not have been prevented, or if that was in the game, that would have been nice to know. But anyway, so this is still a really interesting game. Very in-depth, full of consequences. Something that's actually kind of possible on both sides, having the extreme surveillance and then homegrown terrorism. Always a big deal. But anyway, so of course, like I said, I'm going to end the video here, and if you guys liked it, enjoyed everything, um, you thought it was rough, I guess, too. Do all the fun liking things on YouTube. Leave all the comments. And I'll see you guys in a future video.